Howdy, horror fans. Welcome to another episode of What the Fuck Did Sir Sturdy Just Watch? You gotta tune in to find out. How's it going, everybody? As you guys heard in the intro, this is episode two of What the Fuck Did Surf 30 Just Watch? And this is the shit Surf 30 watched today. And I will say this. I'll give you the titles real quick. Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Deathbed, The Bed That Eats. And Evil of the Night. And I know what you're thinking. This is the rhythm of the night. No, Evil of the Night. Now, let me tell you guys, these movies, for the most part, were some rough watches, especially this and this. This one right here was so bad I had to turn it off. I don't know if it's worse than the infamous Blood Lake, but it's close. It's not worse. It's worse than the Blood Lake with Attack of the Lampreys, but it's not worse than Blood Lake, I'll say, because I feel with Blood Lake, I would have shut it off. Which you know what I'm going to do for this is when I mentioned Blood Lake, at least the one or two times, I'm going to put it right in the eyeballs. But anyways, when I was doing Blood Lake, that was for a podcast. Had this been for a podcast, I'm giving you guys a review on the movie, I would have finished it. But no, this was very fucking bad, though, in my opinion. Um, It's a bed that eats people. It would make a good beer commercial for the... There's a part in the beginning, right, where the bed, there's like... A couple making out on the bed. Guy takes out food. He takes out apples and a bottle of wine. So when the bed takes the apple, it like sinks into the bed pretty much. And then when, once it gets to the other scene, it looks like it's like sitting in beer. And floats back up. But it's like sit, sinking kind of in beer. Well, it looks like beer. It's probably supposed to be stomach acid or something. I have no idea. But it's the same exact color as like Red's beer. For those of you who drink the uh, cider. I'll say cider. Sorry. But it would be a perfect commercial for that somehow if you're making the beer just something with the red maybe not sinking in the bed but just sinking and then the red just goes into the red apple goes into the yeah anyway that's besides the point um again i'm not giving movie ratings or anything like that i'm gonna tell you which movies i like the best out of the three i'm gonna tell you which covers i like the best out of the three and i'm gonna rank them one two and three like i did yesterday and uh i think that's about it i might ramble on a little bit but not too too much if i do so, without further ado, drum roll, please. I will tell you this. <laughs> the best movie of the day, by far, was this. Hands down, best movie of the day. Followed by... This... It's just, I don't know, man. And then, obviously, lastly is this. And, again, what I'll do is when I tell you guys about the which covers I like from 1 to 3, I'll put them, like, right around this area again. So you probably won't even see my hands doing this, but you'll see the covers. So my favorite cover was, and this one was another tough one. This one was another toughie between the two. But, uh... And I'm just making my mind up now, even. I'm going to go with this. This is number one today. This is the number one cover for me today. And again, like I said, I'll be putting the cover here, as I mentioned, which is in which place. So, Evil of the Night. Evil of the Night. Wins cover of the day. And movie of the day. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes was a very, very close one for first place. Like, I was thinking about this after I seen all the covers and movies I was going to be doing. I actually was like, uh, this is because this cover is this cover right here is so awesome. Like, I would love to have this on a shirt, which probably will happen one day. This, too, even. 
But um, this cover right here, I wasn't too fond of. It was okay. It was just kind of, I don't know. It, the cover in the movie for me just wasn't good. It just, no. Just a complete no, hell no. I will never tell you guys not to watch a movie, a horror movie. But if you watch these three movies, don't blame me. This one you may enjoy. This one I would actually rewatch in general. Probably, Well, any of them I would rewatch for a podcast, of course. This one I'll be more likely to possibly watch again because it really wasn't that bad. Um, so, yeah. Again, give them to you real quick one last time. Eve of the Night, number one cover. Return of the Killer Tomatoes, number two cover. And this shit... It's three and everything. It's three and everything. So, you know, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. All that good stuff. Real quick, where you guys can find me, I have a Horror Word Search 30 Facebook group on Facebook. I know I said Facebook twice, but so what? Feel free to share anything and everything horror related, including your own projects. I have a Horror Word Search 30 page on Facebook. And that is for. When I post news and anything, like any type of updates, if I'm going to cons and all that kind of cool stuff or anything I'm involved in, I'll post that in the group. I'll make sure I post in the group a lot more. Sorry, in the, on the page, on the page, on the page, on the page, on the page. I'll post that on the page more. That's where my podcasts are going to be going, audio and video, as well as all the other networks, which platforms, which I'll tell you guys in a minute. Going back to the group, videos like this will be in the group and on the page from YouTube. In the group and on the page. Podcasts. Audio and video will only be on the page, though. Um, and I might as well tell you the platforms. As far as wherever you listen to podcasts, you know, iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, Spotify. Again, I'm staying with Spotify. I know Joe Budden's leaving. But, you know, places like that, that's where you can listen to this podcast and many of the other ones that it trickles down to. You can watch it on YouTube. Um, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. You can see me streaming. I just realized I have to get another cord before you guys can hear me streaming when I'm using the capture card, but I'll probably just stream just via Twitch. If not, within the next two weeks, maybe sooner, we'll see. But yeah, there's that. Um, if you ever want to be on a podcast with me and review a movie with me, myself, or me and one of my many co-hosts, shoot me an email, horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. Again, that's horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. And I believe that's it. I think that's it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy the rest of your weekends. As always, I'll see you in your nightmares. And it's not alcohol, but <sighs> drink some bitches. <laughs> <laughs>